Good morning to all. I am Dr. Mohammad Harun Bashra, Associate Professor of Physics, Amen Timothy University, Chennai. We are going to discuss about the important topic, ultrasonic sound, which is a very effective sound as a laser. The normal audible range of sound, 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Below 20 Hz, which is inaudible to human ear, that is known as infrasonic. And above 20,000 Hz, the effective sound known as ultrasonic sound, which is also inaudible to human ear. There are two types of production of ultrasonic sound. Our mantle section method and piezoelectric generator method. We are going to discuss something about the mantle section method. When a ferromagnetic rod like iron or nickel is placed in a magnetic field, which gets vibrated, which reaches its the vibration frequency range above 20,000 Hz, the ultrasonic sound will be produced. Ferromagnetic rod like iron or nickel is fixed at its center and the coil L1 and L2 has been used. The L1 and the L2 coil is bounded on the ferromagnetic rod. The one end of the coil L1 is connected with the battery and the other end of the coil L1 is connected with the capacitor and the capacitor is also connected with the collector end of the transistor. The emitter end of the transistor is gets grounded. L2 is also connected with the high tension battery which is known as feedback loop. When the battery is switched on, it gets vibrated. The rod is influenced by the alternating current and gets vibrated and the natural frequency of the rod you know very well f equal to 1 by 2 by root of L1c L1 is the inductance of the coil L1 and C is the capacitance of the capacitor and then again the capacitor gets tuned and then the frequency of the vibration gets increased and uh, the rod uh, reaches its uh, ultrasonic sound range of uh, frequency range 20,000 Hz the ultrasonic sound will be produced at the two ends of the rod. And then again, the capacitor gets tuned and then the frequency of the vibration gets increased and uh, the rod uh, reaches its uh, ultrasonic sound range of uh, frequency range, 20,000 Hz. The ultrasonic sound will be produced at the two ends of the rod. Now the frequency will be N is equal to 1 by 2 by root of LC that is, which is matches to the natural frequency of the rod at a resonance angle. Further, the capacitor will be observed. We observe the frequency range. N is equal to 1 by 2 L root of E by rho. L is the length of the rod and E is the Young's modulus of the rod, material of the rod and rho is the density of the rod. So, resonance angle, when N is equal to F, that is the frequency of the vibration is equal to, is equal to the vibration of the rod, the resonance angle. Then further we tune the capacitor, the frequency furthermore increases and then it reaches the ultrasonic sound at the two ends of the rod. Mainly which is used for the industrial and the medical application. And uh, industrial application is uh, welding, uh, drilling, cutting, the material processing also. And uh, very essential medical application, we know very well the ultrasonic scan. So which is mainly used for the pregnancy, delivery, at the time of delivery. The position of the fetus will be observed. The base of the fetus, fetal growth will be observed. And uh, furthermore, medical uh, applications have been observed using the ultrasonic sound. Thank you so much uh, students. Thank you.